Hey guys, it's Coach Sherry here. I just wanted to do a quick video on some um, notes that I took from the Platinum Edge. This one I just think that I could do a quick video for you guys. Um, it's building your roots. And the speakers were Minnie Lawhorn, Tara Carr, excuse me, um, Chelsea Pearson, and Sarah Try. Um, basically what they were talking about is, you know, objections and how to deal with them sometimes. And uh, one of the girls, I think, I think it was Sarah Try who mentioned this, was Look at it like an infomercial when you're speaking to people. Start out with some information and give some success stories and more information. And just so she actually said to start looking at really watching the trailers for our programs and see how they build the infomercial just to get, and get an idea of how to share with people, which I thought was an interesting tactic. Um, the other thing is really talk about value, that there's no membership, <coughs> it's convenience and that we're here to guide them. Um, the other thing they were mentioning is that we really need to own that we are Team Beach Body coaches. A lot of times we allow our fear or that people might look at it as silly or a little hobby, but we need to own it. And Sarah Try said that she used to kind of wishy-washy about what she did. And sometimes I do that. I'll always start with I'm a stay-at-home mom rather than I'm a beach body coach. And so what she said is you just own it. Whenever anyone asks you what you do, you just say, I'm a beach body coach. Or you might want to use fitness, something with fitness, but at least it's something about coaching. Um, but she owns it. She says, I'm a beach body coach. It goes right into it. Um, they also talked about the 30-second elevator speech. Basically, when you meet someone in an elevator, you only have basically 30 seconds to meet someone. And so start to kind of create your own little 30-second elevator speech. Hi, I'm so-and-so. How are you? What do you do? This is what I, and you know, of course they might ask you what you do, and that's when you come in with I'm a beach body coach, you know, and then it might roll from there, just just kind of coming up with that little quick speech for yourself. And um, it should roll off our tongues. If you feel like it's icky, then it may be. You might have to change how you're coming across to people. So, um, and also, it may just feel icky because it's awkward. We're not used to it. So the more you do it, it won't feel so icky anymore. Um, how do you get over struggling in this business was a big thing. And they said basically it's just pushing through, leading by example, consistency, 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 um, consistency in your message. Learn to recruit up. That was an interesting thing that they all talk about recruiting up, meaning Recruit people that you can learn from, and sometimes that's scary because you may think that they, oh, God, that person knows so much more than I do. And, you know, if I'm coming and approaching them about a program or about coaching, they're going to look at me like I'm silly. But here's the thing. Those are the people you want on your team. That's what you want. I mean, all of you ladies are amazing, and you all know so much about people and about um, sports and things like that, and that's recruiting up. And you want to, I want to learn from you, and you want to learn from those people because they're going to bring other aspects to the table. So that was an interesting point, recruiting up. Um, oh, and then also they mentioned, of course, you know, if you don't share what you do, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of selfish. They, one of the quotes that was said was, being selfish, it's being selfish if you don't share the cure. And that's what it is. If we're not out there sharing how to be healthy and how to live your life better, then we're doing a disservice to people. So that's another thing you want to tell people if they, they kind of question you. Um, uh, basically, they also went through systems of following up. Um, you want to start to create some kind of system of following up, which we're kind of starting to do with the, the business activity tracker and then the contact list. Um, but they also say set up expectations. Um, there is a big difference between simple and easy. A lot of people, when you're recruiting a coach, they think it's going to be simple. Um, excuse me, they're gonna, it's going to be easy. Juju, Juju, in a second, honey. It's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. Sorry, guys. Hang on one second. And it's not easy, but you got to explain to them it's a simple business. It's just, it's not easy, though. Um, objections about Shakeology. You want to talk about the quality. Try, um, just mention to them, try it for 30 days and you get money back guarantee. Um, and then follow up with them in a month. 
and um, and just see how it's going, see how their Shakeology is. And also with coaching, too, um, or if they, if they don't go through with it, excuse me, if they don't follow through with buying the Shakeology at that point, follow up with them in a month. And if they keep saying, you know, it's just not that time right yet, just keep keep them in the back of your mind. Keep checking in on them because it will eventually click. Um, oh, they also mentioned Danny Johnson. She's a, a great motivational speaker, and she's got great books out there. Um, learning about gems. The gem test is learning about different personalities and how to deal with um, different personalities. Another thing they mentioned, too, another tip was acuityscheduling.com. I've not looked at it yet, but it's A-C-U-I-T-Y scheduling.com and I guess that it's a great program apparently for scheduling your appointments and um, especially with your coaches that they can go on it and look on it and then they can just plug in on your hours that you're working to have a call and things like that so I gotta I gotta look at that too but another awesome quote uh, for you guys is I will help but you will build your business so as a leading coach you will help but you can't do it for them so you just need to tell them you're here for resources, you're here for motivation, encouragement, whatever, but the only person who's going to build your business is you. So um, again, these are just some sporadic notes that I just wanted to go over. Um, again, Coach Basics sets the tone for your business. Follow that Coach Basics when you have a new coach. It's so important. And follow up with them each week. Um, and how do you keep your new coaches from being overwhelmed? Just take baby steps, guys. That's where that coach basics is. Ask them what their expectations are. So when you send them to watch a few videos, ask them, if I give you these videos, how long will it take you to, to watch them? And let's set a date. So just be open and communicate and, and it's okay. Go at their pace. And that's what's going to make them gain their own momentum. Um, yeah, just keep it basic. And then have smart success, not stress success. So one of the key things that they all told me this, or I should say the speakers told us, is turn off your notifications on your phone. That was a big thing because I know a lot of us feel like um, we're being pulled in by every time we get a message, every time we get a response to a picture and things like that. Um, actually, Kimberly O did, started doing this a few months ago, and she made me do it at the Platinum Edge because during the, during the uh, conference, I was checking my phone, and she's like, Sherry, stop. And I'm like, you're right. It's ridiculous. So what I did was I turned off all my notifications. So the only way I know about if I got a message is when I go into Facebook, and I check it several times a day. So you guys might see that I'm not responding as quickly, but it's because of my sanity and yours, and also time with your kids, time with your husband, whatever it may be that you want to focus on that. And, and that's why I'm trying to relearn focus again. When I'm focusing on Beachbody, it's got all my focus. When I'm focusing on my kids, they've got all my focus. Again, it's not 100%, but that's, that was one of the things. It's smart success. So just hone in on your time. All right, guys. That, again, this was just a quick video because I had some sporadic notes. I just wanted to kind of give you some tips, and I hope this helps. Talk to you later. Bye.